Hey friends, so uh, this is just something I recently discovered and I absolutely love it and so I knew I had to share it with you guys. So sometimes you have textures like this where you've got, a, you know, you're going to be dropping quite a few um, supports. And so this, something I've only had, had happen by accident, it was always frustrating and today it just clicked on why this shouldn't be frustrating. So you set your support. You notice right now I am in edit mode. So I'm going to grab the support, and while I'm holding it, I'm going to hit Control Z. And you notice how that support now just kind of appeared there? I'm going to drop it here. I'm going to pick it back up. I'm going to hit Control Z. I'm going to drop it there. I'm going to pick it up back up. Hit Control Z. Drop it. Pick it up. Hit Control Z. And you notice I'm cloning basically that support tip. And I'm saying support tip intentionally because if you move that center column that they're all attached to, you will notice that these tips are basically, they don't have a column it's just it's a glitch uh... g2 box people i'm sure maybe hopefully you might see this it would be really nifty if you could make this a feature and not a kludge uh... an accidental bug of the software uh... because it saves me a whole lot of time i mean i just created a really really nice little set of uh... supports that normally I would have to do all manner of things to that I did not have to do this time and they're all support tips that are editable if I had done this with all feet I wouldn't be able to uh, click these all and then change their dimensions which I'm going to show you right now like this is why this is so powerful normally to generate support tips like this you would see me pull my support feet which are down there back up and then those aren't editable but these are all editable they'll go up and they'll go down and I can change these dimensions too like that did not use that's not something that you can do when you pull the feet up so I mean I still have to pull up my feet and I've got my supporting ah, more this is the joys of 3d modeling <coughs> I still have these guys I need to deal with um, you know toss him here and then I'll bring in a support structure to hold that but ordinarily if I had done that with the feet most of those wouldn't be editable but now all of them are editable and you can do that anywhere you want so like let's say that we're down here and we're creating our supports I'm gonna hold this and just control Z and hold it and 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 can oop, uh, you know boom and then I can come over here and it's the same thing like so you pick your center oop, uh, and ooh, well like I said it is a glitch and so sometimes it'll do weird stuff like that. Um, let's drop our support. Edit. Uh, ooh, we have found a thing it doesn't like. This is a new one for me. Ah, there we go. Now it's back to working. Maybe it was just I wasn't letting it go at the right time. But you can see what I'm doing here. And from a uh, creating stacks, this is so much faster. Like, uh, it's just absurd. So I hope that you find this useful because uh, this is a great time saver. It's just stupid how much faster I'm going to be able to set supports like this now. Um, and uh, yeah, have fun.